Now you've probably noticed that AppSumo are currently running a three day deal and bringing back some really useful tools. One of those is Plutio Lifetime Deal. Now I picked this up probably two years ago plus when it was first on AppSumo. And since then it's been developed hugely lots of new features really driving it forward in what you can do and what you can achieve so if you're looking for a tool for project management for managing your business invoicing dealing with contracts all those kinds of things then this might be the tool for you so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm just going to give you a brief overview of all of the different options that are included in this particular tool and then hopefully it'll help you make a decision as to whether you want to grab this while it's on that lifetime deal over on AppSumo right now so let's just jump over onto the computer, take a quick look at what Plutio actually offers us. Okay, so this is Plutio. As you can see, there's a lot on offer inside this tool. It's basically one single stop you can use to run probably all, maybe if not all, a big portion of your business. So if you're a freelancer or something like that, then this could be an absolutely perfect solution for you. I've been using this since it was on its AppSumo for the first time, which was probably maybe two, three years ago, something like that. And this has grown immensely since I originally sort of purchased this. And it's grown into a really solid platform. The only thing I can say is that Leo, the guy behind this, the sort of driving force, he's exactly that, a driving force. So let's just jump into my account and take a quick look at what kinds of things we have included inside here. Now this is a second account, so there's not everything being used inside here. This is just so I can kind of demonstrate to you some of the things that go on. But this is the dashboard and this has undergone a really massive update in the last couple of weeks, maybe to launch in time for the AppSumo release, I don't know. But this now gives you a really comprehensive overview of exactly what's going on inside your particular account. And depending upon how you use this, whether you use it for invoicing, project tracking, those kinds of things, then more or less information will be available inside this particular section. Now, there is one thing I would love to see inside here, is the ability to easily go ahead and customize this if there are things that you don't really have any interest in to be able to disable those particular groups. Maybe that's something hopefully will come in the future if there's enough feedback on that side of things. But let's just take a little look at what we have inside the actual controls options itself on the left hand side. You can see that we're currently looking at one particular platform, but you can create additional workspaces. So if you run multiple companies, you could have different workspaces for each one or maybe different projects, however you wanted to run it, it's up to you. But those options are there if you wanna create a new workspace, you can do just that and you can brand it up and do those kinds of things. So I'll cancel that out of there. I'm gonna block that from now. So what we have at the top is tasks. Now tasks is gonna be, as the name would suggest, a way of tracking all the different tasks you've got. If you're a solopreneur, a freelancer, then it might just be you. So the things like the delegated and assignee and all those kinds of things, not so important. But if you're working with outsource or you're working as a small agency where you've got multiple people, a small business, whatever you kind of want, you could then track this and assign this to various different people. And if we come in and take a look at this particular project, you see on the right hand side now, we have a breakdown of the various different pieces of information. So for example, this design system for web design, this is where I've made some notes and videos that I think are useful, the dates that I wanted to get this done, reminders, repeats, if I wanna delegate this to other people, I can do that. I can also add in custom fields. So it's really easy to work with. If you want to, you can have comments. If you're working with multiple different people on a project, you can have comments inside there, you can feed back to each other. And you've also got things like then for subtasks, uh, and if you want to attach files, so for example, you might have scripts, you might have, you know, sort of different ideas and things you want to include, you can drag and drop your files up into there. So it's really easy to manage that side of things. And you can adjust the view of this. If you want a timeline view, you could do that. So if you're working on a dedicated timeline for a particular project, you could view it in that way. You can export this, you can find out what tasks are assigned specifically to you when you're logged in. You've also got what tasks are delegated, what project tasks there are, you can filter things. There's an absolute boatload of what you can do inside during the task section. So really easy to kind of work with. You can order these, you can group things, filter them, search against them loads and loads of really cool useful features. So if we move beyond the tasks, we've got projects. If we open the projects option up, this is where you can break things down into the various different component groupings. So for me, you can see I've got things like the 
tutorial timeline, sponsored content, you know, the different things like that. So for example, if we go and take a look inside here and open it up, this gives us a more Kanban kind of way of organizing our different information. You can create templates for these. You can assign as many stages as you want. You can customize this to your heart's content, colors, everything like that. You can also take a look in list view. And again, you can see we can expand things if we want to. We can find out what's recorded, what's edited, what's been uploaded. And I color code my things. The topic is my original idea where I might make notes inside there about what it is on top of the actual name itself. So for example, the Lean Freelancer, this will give me a breakdown like we just saw in the tasks side of things. This gives me a breakdown of the information that I want to do with that particular tutorial in this example, but this could be a project, it could be a client's website, it could be, you know, sort of maintenance plans, anything you kind of want with it. You can switch it between your list view, your card view, which is what we just saw, a timeline view if you want to use that side of things, and you can also export this, filter it and sort it like we just saw. So I'm gonna put that back into my card view, which is the one I prefer. And now as I go ahead and I actually work through my different projects, you can say, for example, this takeaway restaurant menu thing, I can say that's now been recorded, I can drop it into the recorded section. And if I want to, I can click on the three dots and then I can set colors on here. So for example, I leave the red as this is kind of progressing through. And once it's taken over to the completed, then I'll change the color to that, to the green color to say that's actually been uploaded, complete, the project is done. But you can, you can see, you can set cover images, you can duplicate this, you can copy it, move it, make it private, whole range of different things that you can do to track everything that you want inside your projects. If we move over to the financials, for example, this will then give you the ability, if you were using this to create invoices and track invoices and so on, this will give you the ability to do all of that. So for example, I've just got a couple of samples. I don't use this for my uh, online sort of accounting side of things. I use a dedicated accounting package, but if you wanted to use this to do everything, you can. So for example, we open this up, you can see that we can go through, we can add in our different items, we can get the totals, subtotals. We can set this to be draft, pending, paid, all those kinds of things. We can preview this to see what the client will end up seeing. It's really, really sort of self-contained. You can do what you want inside here. You can adjust all the colors and things, adjust what blocks you want in there, style sheet. Customize this to get exactly what you want to make sure it's fully in keeping with your branding. On top of that, you can create proposals if you want to. And again, I've got a sample proposal inside here. We can drop in a featured image at the top. We can go ahead and we can see we can add in all the different core components. So everything is contained inside the one platform to do this. Once the proposal is sort of accepted, you've then got the contract option. As you can see, we can attach a contract to this so we can track the, the whole process of the proposal, the contract, we can track all the financials, all those kinds of things. If we wanna take a look at contracts, you can see we have the option to create a contract inside here, including the acceptance signatures and so on. Now, some of these things may have charges. I don't use them personally. I've got dedicated tools that I use for these things. So you want to check that out. If you do hop on board the AppSumo deal, you know, check out the what's included, what's not included, those kinds of things. I'm making the assumption that pretty much everything that I have in this particular setup, other things like white label and so on, and the number of people that I can have as part of my team, those are the only things that would change, but do check that out on the AppSumo deal if you're gonna grab this. But you can see we can create contracts, so you might have different kinds of contracts with different kinds of projects, maintenance, for example. You could have video, graphic design, web design. They could have different contracts. You can create your contracts, and then you can associate those with the proposal and have everything signed and so on. So pretty cool to see that. You also have CRM options inside here. So if you've got a contacts, for example, you can create contacts inside here. And uh, if we just open me up, this is my user role. So I'll just open that up. And inside there, you can see we've got various different components, pieces of information. But we can also see if this is a client, what projects are associated with them, the invoices that are associated with them, any proposals, contracts. And if we're tracking the email through a conversation option, which is the inbox, you can track those conversations as well. So it allows you to really manage the whole process, whether you know it's just with a client or in internal teams, you know, outsource work, freelancers, all those kinds of things. Really, really cool. Calendar, as his name would suggest, this is where you can go ahead and you can find out what's due, what's got to happen, what's currently ongoing, on the dates and so on. We can filter it, we can see based upon week, month, day, an agenda. 
we hop into the inbox, for example, we can set this up to have various different groupings. You can see there's all the different projects that I currently have ongoing. If I have email conversations with anybody related to those things, and I'm tracking the emails inside Plutio, they would all show up inside you. So I could track all the various different things. So it's really, really cool to see you can do all this kind of thing. And if we come into forms, you can see we can create current sort of different forms and things. So this is various things. And again, this is one of those things that I don't really use this option. But if you want your forms and you want to embed these in various different things and create intro pages, confirmation pages, and so on, you've got options inside here to do that. And we can set it up. We can set the status of it. We can customize the look of it. We can set up any notifications that are associated with it. Pretty cool. And finally, we have the files option. And this is where you can upload and store files. These could be assets for projects. They could be, you know, sort of design approvals. They could be anything you want kind of thing. You could use this as a repository to have client files and things. And again, you can see we've got main associated with any of the projects that we have created inside you or associated with any people we have inside you. And again, we have various different views we can use to pull these in. So really cool to see we can do that side of things. I just like the program. I just think it's a really solid platform. And then you've got things like all your settings and there's tons and tons of settings to configure how this looks, your projects, your contracts, your billing, your plans, those kinds of things, how the email works. Pretty cool. And if you want to use templates, there's also a ton of templates you can use inside your dashboard templates so you can change the look of your dashboard. I still like to see the ability to turn things on and off, but you can customize that if you want to. And we've also got things like apps and extensions so that you can link these through to additional different platforms. So for example, if you want to use sort of like Zapier or Integromat, so you can link this through to external uh, applications, you can do that. Same with Integrately and Pabli, there's other options inside there, but you also can accept payments through PayPal and Stripe. And I assume Square, which is another payment method, which I haven't actually seen, that's coming soon. But you know, you can, connect this up and do lots of really useful things. So that's kind of like a really, really quick overview of Plutio. Now, as with anything else that I've sort of purchased on AppSumo and I create a video like this on, these are things that I've invested my own money in. I bought Plutio the first time it was up on there. It's been on there once or twice since. It hasn't made sense for me to upgrade to any of those because I don't need more people to have access to my own Plutio account. But I will be honest and say that two things. This is a platform that I've seen actively developed since I bought it. And the second thing is the guy behind it, uh, Leo Bassam, is really, really driven to create something that's truly unique and useful for as many people as possible. And looking at the how this has grown over the last couple of years, I can say that he's doing a very, very good job in doing just that. So hopefully this has given you the ability to see what kind of options are inside Plutio and help you make a decision whether this is something that is for you or you just think it's maybe a little bit too comprehensive for what you would actually want. But as always, I'd love to know. Let me know in the comment section if you found this video useful and if you'd like to see more videos covering the different tools that I purchased from AppSumo. Let me know. Now, if you like this kind of content where I cover various different tools that I personally use to run my business and manage various different aspects, let me know in the comment section below. I'll take a look at creating some more content. As always, all of the links for this are in the description. They are affiliate links, so if you grab this, I do get a percentage back, but it costs you absolutely no more money. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.